Alistair! Alistair, I just had 203. Don't ever grab me again. You won't live or not. On March 3rd, 2022, Ryan Austin Martin, a 280-pound man who'd been enjoying a few too many drinks, was about to catch a flight, or so he thought. However, things quickly took a dark turn when Martin missed his flight and, in a state of inebriation, attempted to board another. In the midst of this chaos, Martin went on to assault his wife and six-year-old daughter, who were on vacation at Disney. The family was forcibly separated from their assailant by airport security, and law enforcement was immediately summoned. So I'm not being arrested. You want to see a show? Big Bird Show. Jersey, if you need help, you know, just looking for the bad guy. Hey, bad guy's inside. He just went inside here. Sir, put your hands behind your back. Put your hands behind your back. Put your hands behind your back. I'm good. Get in the ground! 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 Let's go to the elevator. Let's go to the elevator. We got you. Just stay in the chair. Let's go to the elevator. Let's get out of here. Come on. I got you. Come on. Let's go. Follow me. Follow me. Let's go. So, please, please take this out of my chest. Okay, we're gonna get him out as soon as I get over here. Hold my wife. Hold my phone. Just stay in the chair. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's Sitting next to me, and he he actually said to her, "Not he says, 
oh really? I'm being bad? And he says, I'll drop you right here. And I leaned over to her and I said, are you safe? So you told her and I was going to drop you right he here. He was going to drop his wife. Right. He threatened yeah. And okay. all sorts of stuff. But I did get security and I Good. tried Good to deal. help. So. Good deal. I appreciate right. you. Thank you. We got here. I guess he's angry about flying. Okay. And, um, when, you know where the Dunkin' Donuts is? Yes. We kind of lost him. He was yelling and screaming, um, cursing at people for no reason. Like if you're standing there, just curse at them. You know, so I wasn't, I was more concerned with them. We were kind of, I kind of walked away from him. Because he's cursing and yelling. Um, he came over to us and um, kept on yelling and screaming, left, and went to the bar two different times. Um, and then came back over here yelling and screaming, cursing, um, just got the worst once I said that I was going to call security. On the way here, you know, they were telling us that he, he had to put it in the hands of the room. Yeah, he tried to pull my hair. Tried to pull your hair. Yeah, that's what they told us on the radio. That's why we're coming fast. Yeah. All right. And you said he's your husband? Has he done this before? He's been no, yes. no, but the drinking, yes. When he drinks, he becomes aggressive. Yes, yes. yes. So he drank today. Yes. Okay. Well, they, he came with a big glass of, it looked like a martini or something. Okay, and that's right. probably changed for his mood. Yes. So we received a call from the agent at gate 48 that a supervisor. If you want to take it off so you can, so you can catch uh, your voice, but it's okay. That we need a supervisor. There's a, a, a customer being abusive towards his family so then I, I i'm usually the ramp supervisor but since she goes by herself i was like i'll go help with you you know what i mean so i came up and as soon as i came up she came over here like no we gotta call the police because he was screaming already in the in the gate area and everybody's just staring you know and she's kind of the wife her sister and the kids were like kind of like in the corner like right there sitting in the front and i, was, I noticed that there was fear so then i looked at them i'm like are you guys okay and then she's like no we need help so that's when I pulled out and I told him to come with me that I needed to talk to him away from the gate area. He just looked at me crazy and he didn't get up. So then I told him, you guys step away. And I kind of got in between where he was sitting and where she right was. Here? And this was right there in the front where the kid with the, yeah, 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 the I burgundy. See so I told her to come back here where this area is kind of away from them. So when she did that, he started following and wanted getting aggressive verbally. So... Then I told you're him, trying I was to talk like, to her, right? You're I trying to like, talk to her. No, I, I wanted to keep him away from her. You know what I mean? Because I saw the aggression building. So when he started walking, following me, like trying to get here to them, and I was like, sir, I'm going to call the police. You need to step away. So then he started walking that way, like rushing, like he was trying to get away. So the family came here, and I followed to see where he went so we could notify you guys. You know what I mean? Not close. I let the distance, you know what I mean? And he stopped at 42, and he was trying to blend in. So I came back, and as soon as I came back, somebody said, he's coming back. And I looked, and I told the family, I scanned my badge in here, and I was like, you guys come in here, because to me, this is a secured area on the jet bridge, you know what I mean, to keep him away. So I closed the door, and the kids are crying, and they're saying he gets like that when he drinks, he's, he's abusive, he gets aggressive. And who was telling he's you like, that? He's like, the wife. She's like, he's going to hurt somebody. He's going to hurt somebody. And I was like, he can't get in here. He busted that door open like nothing. When like it was he open. Busted, like okay, he went, it door, pulled it, it up. Like it was locked. Like if you try to go like in that. there right now, it's not going to open. Right. So that's what I thought. Yeah, right. He just went boof and opened the door. No and kidding. I told him, sir, you can't be in here. And he just kind of shoved me out the way. Like, get out of my way. Okay. But with his body, right. not yeah, his no, hands. No, that's that's, you know that's still I mean? a battery. So, that's still a battery. So once he went in the jet bridge and he was telling her, like, you're really doing this to me? And he grabbed his cell phone and went boof right in there in the jet bridge. Like, stop, he grabbed stop, it like this. Stop. Re re repeat that again. I don't so want to miss that. He grabbed it like this. Uh, right? you, you're holding let's your say phone? this is yeah. So let's say this is the inside of the jugger, right? And he went boof like that. Like he hit the cell phone with the wall. His That's cell the, phone the, or your cell phone? His cell phone, not mine. Mine's just good. Oh, but, okay. his cell phone. Right, okay, his okay. cell phone. He so he was just trying to hit something, but he gotcha. hit the wall. So then I told him. Get a little scared. Huh? Did you get a little scared for that because of his uh, his uh, not state really. of mind? Not really. I was my mindset was more. You know? I wasn't. Because you were there at that time, you were I there was alone, right? With him. With the family. I was more being overprotective with them because I knew that he would harm her. 
You yeah. know what I mean? I'm looking at him, his whole movement in there. And then I kind of talked him on to, like, come on, guys, let's go out here. And he starts, she started grabbing everything. And he walked out, and I closed the door again. So this time around, I was holding the handle inside of there and trying to put my body to it and holding the, the side, the corner here, here and okay. pulling it on me. Because every time that he would try to open it, I would pull it on oh, so he was, he was. He was trying to go in again. Cause oh, he was when, trying to go back When in. we were going to exit out, there she was grabbing everything. When I told him, come on, let's go out there. I'm going to book you guys so he could calm down. So as soon as he went out first and she was grabbing her stuff, I went and I slammed the door onto me again. And this time, I kind of put my foot on the corner, and I was pulling the door on me, the handle, like the to exit. And you were in the jet bridge. While I was in the that. jet bridge, and the family was behind me. So then and he was here. She called. Yep. Right? He she was called. Here. She called her mom or his mom, and she was telling him on Facetime what he's doing, and she's crying behind me while I'm holding the door. Then I couldn't hold it no more because I was pinching my finger, and he pulled it, and he got in again, and he kind of again pushed me out of the way with his body, like trying to get to that's, her. That's a battery, and, man. It's still a battery. And, yeah. you know, after he did that, you know, he's trying to get to her and telling her, we're getting on this flight, we're gonna, and he's walking down like there's a plane. I'm like, sir, there's not a plane there. But the plane had left. There's no plane. Oh, there was never, was there just, was never a plane. I was just trying to keep there them secure, you know what I mean? So then he's like, no, I'm, I'm gonna go on the flight, on the plane, I'm gonna go on the plane. I'm like, sir, there's no plane there. So he walked all the way down. And when he saw there wasn't a plane, then he started walking up and I'm trying to calm him down. Like, sir, let me go up here. You're gonna go on the flight. Your family's gonna go on the flight. Just hold on for a second, you know what I mean? And as soon as he came out, you know, I kind of heard, I don't know who showed up first. You showed up first? And I got the family out when I saw you coming. I told him, come on, come on, come on. And she kind of went that way. But he was coming from here when I he saw him. Here. Exactly. When he came out, when I opened the door and he came out, I saw you. You were coming. So then the family, I told them to go this way. Like, come on, come on, grab the stuff and go around. Gotcha. Stay seated. No, I got you, brother. Stay seated. Stay seated. Stay seated. Stay seated. Yes. Can I don't work for tips either. No. Relax. What the f? We're going to get you relaxed in this room. No, he's the Marine. I'm the Marine. You have me? Yeah. What's yeah. well, sorry, what what uh, crew? What crew? Yeah, what have you been with? I was here for twenty years, it was a whole bunch. Uh, yeah, I've been in for about you ten, so yeah. Uh, Let's start acting like one. Alright. <clears throat> right, that's what I was acting like. So if, you, if you give me a water, I'll be fine. If you give me water, I'll be fine. I got water, a cooler in my pool. Don't kick that, please, sir. I got water in my pool. Okay. Yes, sir. Just chill out. Relax. Go through this process That's and it. you put yourself in. Try that again, George. All right. You made your bet here. Yes, I did. All right. Sure, Lord. Here we got it. See this? You yes. got it. The big thing is. Sit still. Sit still. What are you what doing, are you doing man? Sit still. Sit still. Sit still. He's got to pull him out. Where are you going? I'm not moving. You're moving. You're moving. Stay still. I'm going to try to take these off from you. There you go. Just pull him out. You want to sit down? I'd be as cooperative. We could double cuff you, but you've got to sit down. I'm asking you, man. I'm not trying to be sarcastic with you. Yeah, we don't want to hold you. I definitely want to be sit down. Okay. Yeah. All right. Chair right behind you. We're going to we'll pull the chair up right behind you. I just want to go home. Just bring him back to a fight. Yo, bring him back to a fight, bro. No, nah, it's not gonna happen, man. What do you do for yeah, living? Just New York, iron worker. Oh man, you're kidding me, right? You couldn't even just let me go? We're just not letting you go. We have to put your hands on your side. That point. I didn't even hit my wife. All right. She's on a different flight. Look, she's calling me right now. Take the phone out of my pocket. That's my, that's my wife. Don't worry about it. If they're not even gonna let me go, what the f Stay seated. Don't ever uh, grab me again. Right. Hey, the shoulders are okay. Stop. Let's go sit down. Shut okay. the f off. He's trying to make sure you're not gonna fall. I know, I'm not gonna fall on my face. I know how to act. Just give me that. Give me that. Right now. Guy, give me the phone. Listen to me. Give me the phone. You're under arrest. Give me the fing phone. Stop. Give me the f phone. Stay seated, please, sir. Not the fire department. Do you want to live or not? Yeah, I'm sorry. Give me the phone him. or not. You're not threatening anybody. I think he can fill it out. Murphy from his home, from New York. Sir, please have a seat. We're trying to help you.
You're under arrest. Got that? Yeah. 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 I understand yeah. how it works. You're hurting me. You're hurting me. Nobody's hurting me. You're hurting me. Nobody's touching you right now. That's all he's getting. There we go. You're hurting me more than helping me. Can you help me? Stay down, sir. Stop. Hold on, man. Do not stand up. Stop. Do not stand up. You're in charge here, buddy. Do not no. stand up. Just stay where you are. I'm trying to help the no. guy over here. You're not that easy to help. Stay anybody. seated right now. No. All right, you're all set. All right. You're all right. You guys really serious? I'm not. I'm not the guy for drugs. Drugs said the word drugs. It's in the truck. Oh, I thought you said drugs. Lighten this up. There's only one way that they go on, sir. Lighten them up, please. If you want, we're gonna lighten them up. What does he want? He wants to lose them. Probably have to double. He's gonna be. We'll be cooperative. All right. Somebody go up. Who's three? Hey, hey, hey. That's up to you. I'm all right. Uh, are you, you going to cooperate? We're, we're yes. doing you a solid, don't okay? We don't move. have to do this. I will move. I will. Yeah. No, okay. I will help you. All right. You. We're going to do that? All right. We're going to put two on and make it real. I'm going to have to right. Don't move. Sir, if you try to run or do anything, it's called escape, Where okay? It's a felony. You do not want to do that. If you try anything, you're going to get tased. There you go. Just all right. Keep there keep there you go. Relax. All right. There you go. Nice and loose. There you go. Couple. Good couple. There you go. There you go. Look at that You got the keys there? Let me get that Help him up. Help him up. There you go. Wait, 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 wait. Don't lock it so it don't lock on you. Oh, easy. It's tight. There you go. Now you got room, brother. All right. All right. Sorry, I'm fat. What's he got? Sorely in top? Maybe DV? Well, I mean, the first one's easy. I mean, That's it's, what I'm saying. It's, it's 85. Job. Yeah, he's ready to go. He we're doing need to go to Atlanta side. Let's go to, to work. work. I mean, he, he don't need to go to the interview room. I mean, he's, no. he's done. We're done. We gotta go to work. Come on. Yeah. We're trying. We're trying to expedite the process. Yeah, that's what we're trying to do. Make it expedient as possible. You don't realize the first name. Again? Brian. Brian. Okay. Brian. Yeah. We're trying to expedite this. We gotta go through the process. All right. Now, if, they, if he tells me to put you in there, that's like the sardine can. Right? I do not want to be in here. But right. you, gotta go, you gotta go to the yeah. jail in there, but, but we're gonna Hang make on. it quick. Rob Robertson's almost here. Okay, the sergeant's yeah, almost so here. So we're doing you're better out here. You're okay? comfortable okay? outside here, okay? Instead of you putting understand you in me? now, Good. you're out yes, here, sir. okay? Yes, All right. Which is uncomfortable right. as hell. Just sit here and chill out. Right. right. You know, I'll be out or not. We are helping you out, man. We're not helping you out. There is no help me out. How are we supposed to help you out? I want to go upstairs. Go. Criminal charges. There's no going upstairs. What criminal charge? Well, you have domestic battery. You have battery on the. No social in there. Nope. Don't worry about you, it. You attempted to breach security, which is what are you talking about? Never, TSA will handle that for you. Never hit one of them. Okay. Metal unit, huh? The iron worker. Iron worker. Tough work, little, man. A little bit. A little bit tougher than uh, this. Guys. What's up, man? You guys got the toughest work out here. No, Come no, on. no, you do, bud. That's some, that's some tough work. What do we got to do? Get in? No, stay, no, no, stay seated. Stay seated. You don't want to get up, man. Probably uh, the hardest work that uh, you could do. Iron work? Oh, yeah. You're, oh. Problem, or you just drank too much today? I just drank. Yeah, yeah. Okay, take a pill. I don't have one. <laughs> Doctor will give you that. Had a blast here. The kids went to Disney. The weather was awesome. Then you go back to New York. Correct. Right. Go back to school. You have kids? Oh, yeah, mom's a teacher. Elementary teacher. My baby. Uh, oh, yeah. My wife's a teacher. Oh, yeah. My son's a lawyer. Good. Oh, I'm trying to. I'm trying to. You're going to forget about this. You watch this, you're going to laugh. You go, that was me. That was me. Yeah. You made the officer tase you. I was gonna you? say, I that gotta arrest me? myself again. That's what you're gonna say. Who was that guy? It's like a Jekyll and Hyde. Am I talking to the right Brian now, right? That's the problem with alcohol. Yeah. Mm. Limitations. I don't, I don't so drink great. a lot. That's just. Uh, oh. What'd you drink though? Was it? I don't know. They had, what'd you have? No, they had. Uh, I don't know, some gray goose or something. <laughs> it was like good stuff. Never, I never touch it in my life. Listen, I know you guys are good, but he's gotta really screw me. What you got? I'm gonna take, I'm gonna take him out.
No, you're not. No, you're not. No, you're not. No, you're not. Why so angry? At you? you don't even know the man. Yeah. You know the family man who's got kids. He probably does have kids. Yeah. Why are you going to take him out? Right. Why? Why do you hate him so much, brother? Why? He's. It's not the personal for him. Nothing. He doesn't want to be here. You don't. None of us want to be here, man. Yeah. Lunch time. Yeah. I know. Lunch time. But now I'm going to be stuck in there for about eight hours, right? The consequences, man. It's early. Yeah. Hey, Mr. Ryan, what do you got? What do you got, buddy? This is airside ops. What they've done is they've issued you a trespass warning, which means you're not allowed here ever for the next year. Okay, for one year you cannot return to this airport. When you it comes time to fly home, you're gonna either use Sanford or Tampa Airport. Alright? Just tell me, one year? Yep. So a year How and much? a day and you come back to Disney. Come right through here. How much? Welcome That's back. It. Do you uncuff me, please? No man, we can't do that. Hey, we'll let the jail. Take everything yeah. off. We'll let you go. You can eat lunch and everything else. Yeah, man. Why are we here? <laughs> yeah. Good, good point. Why are we here? I got beautiful kids, beautiful family. Why are we here? Yeah. We're here because I drank. It's your story. Because I drank. That's it. I was drunk. That's it. Because I drank. I wanted to get on the... Out of flight. Right. Well, let me ask you this right here. You you said that you were drunk. Now, I'm going to ask you a personal question. Now, this this is just me and you talking. Were you drunk or are you drunk? Do you have a problem? Both. Hey, honesty. I like it. Both. I like it. You know, and you know, this is not how to begin or end a vacation at all. Did you understand what the officers were there for? I never said I did. Well, I'm just, I'm, but I'm asking you. I'm asking you. I understand what they're there for, yeah. yeah. I understand what he's here for. Got it, right. And so is he. You're here yeah. for your family. Fix, yeah. fix your problems for your yeah. family. And I understand what you're here for. Okay. You know. But, and I uh, love the military. I'm here for the military, so. Yeah. And I appreciate that, you know. But, I'll do anything I can yeah. if I will. Oh, give me, give me about 500 push-ups, I'll do it. Yeah, well like I say, why didn't you just comply with the officers or what they needed? Just my wife and uh, her sister, but it's, I would. I would. Yeah. At 100%. Yeah. No problem. I'll comply with you, whatever you say. Yeah, well it, it, right now, it, right now it's all over with, it's done. You know, uh, of course, you know, you got to go to jail. You know, we can't, we can't change that. So how long are we going to jail for? That's up, that'll be up to the judge. You know, I mean, like I so said, you're from out of state, that changes the bond. You know, your attitude will, you know, any past histories that you've got, you know, being cooperative from this point out. You can't let me go from here. Can't, sorry. Sorry. That, you know, that, that ship sailed when you decided not to comply. I would have complied with any one of you. I know. Yeah, but you got tased. I don't, I don't want to get tased. I don't want to I get, know, you know. Yeah. Wait, nobody wants to tase nobody you. Wants yeah. to. We don't yeah. like you do, using this stuff. So you yeah. can't help me out? There's no helping you, sir. Yeah. Now, so, now everything's on you. Our job here is done. Our job is to come to the call, to answer the call of the crime that, that was witnessed, to try and investigate it, to try and give you an opportunity. But if you don't give it, and you're going to resist. Right, and you're you not gonna gonna I'm not going to resist. I'm you know, not resisting. But outside of that, our our stake in this is done. Except getting you to the jail safely. After that, it will be between you, the judge, the courts, your wife, and your family. We have no personal stake in it. You can't we, help me at all. No. The only thing we can do is just wish you the best. We hold no ill will towards you at all. And most importantly, we hope this is a wake-up call for your broken situation. Exactly. That's what I would like to see. Maybe you oh. Right? I'm going to get in the car for Okay, you. and I'm going to make sure you don't want yeah. okay. Let's, go. Let's go ahead and get him in. Is there anything else you need to tell What's What's, what's your name, buddy? Ryan, Ryan Austin Martin. Ryan, is there anything else you need to tell me? Yeah, I believe you got it. 
Well, that, that's, that's a good start. That's a, that's a start. On, we're going to walk to the other side. All right, that's we're going to go right over here, okay? One second. I'm going to get my arm through. All right. Ryan, do you ever listen to us when we tell you how to get in this car? Because you're a big guy. Yeah. All right, look at me. Face me. I'm a big guy. Ryan. You're a big guy. You're bigger than me. Ryan, right, press first and watch your head, okay? There you go. All right, now see if you can kind of kick in. Scoot yourself back. Okay? There you go. We're going to turn on the AC for you, okay? Love you. All right. Thank you. Sorry, I was drunk before, man. I got you. I got you. All right. Hold it. That. What are we doing after this? So right now, um, this officer right here is going to transport you to the Orange County Booking and Receiving Center, okay? That's our county jail, okay? They're going to process. All right, that's it. That's I won't get home until... Where? All right, sit down. Yeah, you should be available for... Um, uh, it's watch your head. Um, the, yeah, so the bond is going to be on your um, affidavit, okay? All right. Yeah, so good. how much are we looking at? Yeah, you want to put the seatbelt back on or it's up to you? You want the seatbelt on or, or not? Nah, don't worry about it. You don't want it. Oh. Oh, I'll die. Hard. I'll die when I die. Yeah, you. But what's the uh, bond I'm looking at? Yeah, so it, it, uh, when he writes in the charges, you'll know when you get there, okay? The only thing is, it's going to be double because you're out of state, all right? So the bond will be double for whatever charges uh, that are going to be on that affidavit. And now you're going to pay to get back to the airport. Well, you can't come back here for a year, remember? I got to fly out of here. No, so. you're going to have to find another place to fly out of, either Sanford or Tampa, okay? You can't fly out of here. You, you, you can't come here for another year, okay? You'd be a trespass. You understand? So I got a trespassing ticket. Yeah, you got, it's a trespass warning, which means you, you've been warned. All right, all right, all right. You got it? Okay. All right, thank all right. you. Martin was charged with resisting an officer with violence, child abuse, domestic violence, battery, and disorderly intoxication.